all, it's nothing new when hiking the Adirondacks. I would agree with my Canadian tuna fish eating friends in saying that it's not that bad. After making it down in good time, since it is an express trail, as the name states, I got back to the Cairn from this morning and was now back on the Bradley Pond Trail, heading back to the Santanoni Road. Now that it was daytime, I could see the river that the trail runs along for so long, and it's amazing. There are many great spots to swim in, pools in the river, and some very cool rock water slides that you see so often in the Adirondacks, where the rocks are so smooth from the water that you can use them as a water slide. Very cool stuff. It's definitely a place that would be really fun to spend a few hours in the summertime. But maybe another time, not today. So I started hiking very quickly at this point since the day was over and now it was all about getting back to the car. And I made it back to the dirt road and then the long mile and a half walk down the dirt road to my car. I put an earbud in again for this final trek to make the time pass a little easier and I made it back to the trailhead at 3.15 p.m. totaling my day at 11 hours and 20 minutes. Since today was Sunday and I had to work at 6 a.m. tomorrow, it meant I had to drive back to Brooklyn today. So with that in mind, once I got in my car, I made a quick left out of the parking lot, down the road a short distance, and made a pit stop at the old McIntyre Iron Furnace, where I walked down to the river, jumped in so I could clean up before my long drive back to the city. An absolute must before a long drive after hiking, I've come to find. So another successful solo day in the woods here on the Santanoni Range. A great day, a little muddy, but overall I found the Santanoni range to be more enjoyable than I anticipated. Panther, Cooksacraga, and Santanoni for peaks numbers 38, 39, and the big 4-0. We're almost to 46 here on my quest to hike all 46 high peaks in one summer. Next time on 46 of 46, after a 65-hour work week and a 15-hour day on Friday, I'll drive straight from work six hours to the trailhead, where I'll tackle an arguably even more remote mountain range, the Sewards. All four of them. Next time on 46 of 46. Remember to always leave no trace, do the rock hop, and if you carry it in, carry it out. See you on the trails.